Let's talk about setting goals for 2024. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Small. I am the owner of Law Firm Launch, but I don't really have anything to sell you. Okay, I own a law firm. I like to talk about this stuff. Uh, I got a bunch of short videos all over the place. I got a podcast, so just like look around for me if you want more. And uh, it is January 9th, 2024 at the time I am recording this. And I was, you know, I'm wanting to try to make one longer form video a week. And since we're at the beginning of the year, I thought this would be a good topic. If you have questions or you want me to riff on something a little bit more, leave a comment, uh, shoot me a message, do whatever you send me a carrier pigeon, whatever you want to do. I would uh, love to talk about it. Happy to chat about it. And, uh, you know, I think a lot about this stuff, really trying to grow my firm plan is to sort of double this year. We'll get to that. But, um, you know, I'll work hard on my business and I'd love to help you out uh, with yours through these videos. Okay. So goal setting. I used to set goals via like the smart goals, you know, uh, specific, measurable, I think actionable, realistic, and time bound. I still do kind of do that. But when I'm thinking about my annual goals these days, what I really think about is what do I want my life to look like and what are the steps that I think I can take this year to get me to that life, okay? To give you an example, 2023 was really about stepping away from acting in that attorney role inside of my firm. So I have, I hired some attorneys, I have some staff, I have more attorneys that are, that are um, sort of coming up right now inside of the firm and I'm no longer taking sales calls. So I am sort of closing out my, my current clients and now my sole focus is on growing the business, growing the team, leading the team, educating the team and crushing life, okay? So that's that was sort of my goal for last year. This year is now working on becoming a better leader, a better CEO, a better manager and growing the revenues of the firm. I have these new people that are coming into place. I need to figure out how to keep them busy, how to fill their plate, how to do all those things. Do I have ideas for that? 100%. Am I executing on those ideas already? 100%. But um, that is really the focus of this year, at least the beginning of the year, is to fill everybody up. I have two offices, so fill those offices up with clients, get everybody working hard, figure out a way to keep them happy and keep them around and then repeat the process again. So that's how I think about that. Once I have that thing that I'm trying to do for the year, then I will sort of back in to what I should be doing every quarter, every month, every week, and then down to the day. So for me, it's increasing ad spend. It is optimizing ads. It's creating new content. It is, um, you know, uh, teaching sales, teaching legal work, uh, you know, working on systems, all of these different things come into play to reach that ultimate goal. <laughs> Excuse me, and I drill that down into maybe like five bullet points. And then I start to systematically knock those out through the course of the year. You cannot know though what your annual goal is, what your goal for 2024 is, if you do not know what your ultimate goal is. For most people, it's some form of like time freedom, financial freedom, you know, uh, location freedom potentially, but you really got to know what that looks like. Do you love legal work? Do you want to continue to do legal work? Do you love the business side? Are you lazy and want to do nothing? Think about it. Write that down. Look at, look at what that looks like and then start to work towards that. What you will often find is what you thought your ideal life was isn't exactly the way that you want once you start to get it and you just shift into what you do want. So that's how I start. What I also do is think about, again, skills that I want to acquire that will also get me to my ideal life. So for me, I would love to have like a house in Mexico. Um, having a house in Mexico is way more fun and traveling to Mexico is way more fun when you can speak Spanish. So one of my goals for this year is to speak Spanish. I have already hired a Spanish tutor. I have been working on and through some Spanish courses and I would just probably continue to do that for the rest of my life uh, to, to you know, get to where I want to go. I'm getting married this year. So that is another, another goal. Um, 
This is the way that I set goals. This is the way that I would encourage you to set them. And then you just want to, again, back into what you need. I want to be, you know, really, really proficient at Spanish. I don't know if I'll say fluent. I probably could be fluent in a year. How can I start that process? It begins with daily practice. It begins with hiring a tutor, right? It begins with showing up for that tutor and making sure I put the time in so that our time is, is, is valuable. It means, I don't know, maybe finding someone that I can just speak with and practice with. These are the different things that come into that goal. You do this with just each individual goal that you have until you wind up with all of the things that you should do for the year. And then it's just a matter of knocking them out. One of the ways that I do that is by putting things on my calendar. You know, I have my Spanish practice scheduled. I have the different things that I want to do scheduled. And we literally just go and bang them out. So when it comes to goals, I think it's important to have them. I think it's important to be working towards something. I think it is important to be able to measure your progress against time. But a couple words of caution, don't make a hundred goals, have a few big ones. Make sure they're big. You know, you do want to have big, hairy, audacious goals, but you want to make sure that they are not too big to where you just quit because you're not sure what to do next. Okay. So you want to be able to measure your progress and that's it. So hope this made sense. Again, if you have specific things that you want me to talk about, I'm happy to talk about them. And uh, I will see you again next week with one of these long videos. All right, that is it. See ya.